Hurricane Ida is plowing northwestward and beginning to show signs that it is starting to strengthen again as it heads for the Louisiana coast. Morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Welcome to Weather in 5, 5 Days in 5 Minutes, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125. For the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com is the website. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs, whether you want your home decorated for the holidays or maybe you want to become a home decorator and decorate your neighbor's houses. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. Both the Omni and Wholesale Holiday Lighting on Long Island and local businesses, 631-957-5106. And the website there is lihollidaylighting.com. So we're starting to see the uh, convection wrap around the center. Uh, The outflow from Ida is excellent. And it's moving right over that warm eddy in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's uh, moving right along. And the uh, latest recon that is in there, now we only have two fixes so far. The plane is coming up and around to make a third fix. But there's been a two millibar drop in the pressure in the last hour from 987 to 985. So if the third fix comes in and it's at 984 or 983, uh, it's probably a sign that uh, rapid strengthening is about to get underway the plane has found 64 to 83 knot winds and while the hurricane looked a little ragged after crossing the western part of cuba it really wasn't impacted very much in terms of the strength the pressure just kind of held its own so that's usually what happens with hurricanes that want to strengthen and they move over western cuba like that they don't lose much power and then move on up Uh, toward the northwest the uh, intensity models have backed off a little bit we had a a number of them uh, showing this getting to a category four they've kind of backed off to a category three but you know at this point really it just becomes a matter of watching the uh, storm itself hour by hour on the satellites and radars and just plotting away and that'll really tell us where this is all uh, going to wind up and the track guidance by the way has also not really changed very much. Uh, The uh, spread here is from the easternmost track, which is right over New Orleans, to the westernmost track, which is uh, back over near Lafayette, Louisiana. So most of them are kind of clustered right in the middle of that. And when we look at the Hurricane Center's forecast close up, uh, it shows a landfall between Homa and Morgan City, Louisiana, and then passing very close to Baton Rouge as it starts to turn to the north and to the northeast. Meanwhile, uh, back home, uh, we are see dealing with some clouds. We have had a cold front that moved on through, and that cold front uh, is going to be stalling out today, probably right over southern New Jersey, northern Delaware. Uh, it's, you can see it's already being analyzed as stalled, so we're getting a nice high building down from Maine that's brought in cooler air and some relief. While south and west of that front, down in uh, Delaware, Maryland, uh, southernmost Pennsylvania into Virginia, it's going to be another hot, humid day and probably uh, going to be dealing with some thunderstorms uh, at some point later on today. Now, we had some activity scattered around overnight. Uh, Most of that uh, cluster from overnight is now offshore, but you can still see there are just a couple of patches of showers and downpours scattered here today. I think that's really what it's going to be like today where we're going to have changeable sky conditions and the chance that there could be a a shower or a thunderstorm. I think the best chances for storms will be southern Pennsylvania, maybe southern New Jersey, and point southward. And that's probably why we still have flash flood watches up for the coastal counties in New Jersey from Ocean County south, because they're going to be close to the uh, uh, frontal boundary. We also had some flash flood watches left over in northeastern New Jersey, but those are coming down uh, as of uh, midday. So I don't think we're going to have to really, really worry too much of uh, about any kind of uh, renegade downpour or thunderstorm that produces heavy rains and flash flooding. The ground's still very much saturated. Now, uh, as we move forward, uh, looking at the rainfall forecast, and you can see this is all Ida here from the Gulf of Mexico into the Tennessee Valley, a very large area of four to six inch rains. And in the yellow, 
uh, we're looking at rainfall amounts of 6 to 10 inches, and then there's a little swath there of 10 to 15 right along the coast. Now, th those high amounts will depend on how fast it's moving when it, uh, it, when it heads inland. If it slows down a little bit when it gets near the coast and prolongs the rain, you'll probably hit those amounts. And then you can see how WPC sort of arcs that ra rainfall area uh, into southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey. Now, this would be based on a track of Ida going up through the Tennessee Valley and then passing by just to our south and east, which will put uh, the areas to the north. So once you go up into north of central New Jersey, the rainfall amounts cut off. But uh, I think there's an argument to be made that this track could wind up being further north. And, and then that opens the door for a soaking rain for much of the area. And I think that would be probably uh, starting early Wednesday morning and lasting into early Thursday morning. So until then, we're just going to deal with the stall frontal boundary over the weekend. Again, changeable skies today. Some areas could see the sun break through from time to time. Others, not so much. Uh, then on Sunday, that front kind of settles a little bit further to the south. Uh, so that pushes some cooler air further south down into uh, Delaware and Maryland. Uh, but the cool air, of course, stays uh, up to the north and east. Temperatures north of the front today will be in the 70s. South of the front will be in the 80s to near 90. And then the same holds for tomorrow. Most of the area tomorrow will see temperatures up in the 70s to maybe some low 80s inland. Monday brings another cold front through. So late in the day, there could be a shower or a thunderstorm. The GFS is not really showing very much, but you can see where Ida is moving into northeastern Louisiana at this point uh, and weakening, but the rain shield uh, remains rather impressive. That front is going to stall out just to our south uh, Tuesday morning. You start to see the remnant rains begin to move to the northeast, and during the early morning hours on Wednesday, uh, the GFS with its, with its slightly more northwest track uh, brings that soaking rain up uh, into Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, southern New England, uh, and there's your low, which goes into central Virginia and then runs up to the northeast. It actually almost looks like <clears throat> a, a regular frontal wave at this point uh, because it will no longer be a tropical system here. At this point, it'll just be uh, become a post-tropical low that moves right along with bands of heavy rain. And then it exits Thursday morning, and that's going to be followed by a really nice dry high building in with some cool air to finish off the end of the week and then take us into the Labor Day weekend, uh, the Labor Day holiday weekend, the last uh, holiday weekend of the summer. And right now, Saturday looks okay. And then it looks like we'll start to turn warmer and more humid as we go into Sunday and into Monday of uh, Monday Labor Day itself. You see there's some chances there for some showers and storms that pop up on the Sunday map and even on the Monday map. Late in the day, some tropical moisture starts to come up. But I think that's too far out into the future to really uh, get a good feel for what's going to happen for uh, the holiday week. And I think Saturday at this point, next Saturday looks okay. Sunday and Monday, probably a question mark uh, with regards to uh, the weather. Okay, Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. And the telephone number there is 631-957-5106. The website there, liholidaylighting.com. So we'll be uh, watching uh, Ida uh, as it uh, moves along here, and we'll be reporting on my weather platform on Patreon, patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee, uh, all the uh, developments there. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to do a Joe and Joe weather show tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, tentatively scheduled for 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, do tune in if you can. Have a great day, everybody.